welcome in it's a monkey mar before we get into today's video please make sure you click that subscribe button the bell for notifications and of course the like and without further ado let's get into this quick update regarding erica lloyd still missing from walnut creek california all right, let's get right into this story so I can get this out. So we know Northern California woman missing in Morongo Valley, Erica Lloyd. And we have a new place that is mentioned in this story. So foul play is feared in the disappearance of Erica Lloyd, who sojourned from her Bay Area home in Walnut Creek on June 11th or thereabouts to San Bernardino County's desert outback, where she has vanished. There is reason to believe that Lloyd, 37, intended to spend a few days in Joshua Tree National Park, most likely alone, but even that is uncertain. I am not buying that for one minute. An unexperienced camper is going to drive alone nine hours and camp in the middle of nowhere alone with no gear? I don't think so. What is known is the park rangers came across Lloyd's vandalized 2000 and black Honda Accord on Monday, June 15th, 2020 at Indian Cove Campground. So now we're out of Jumbo Rocks and now we are into Indian Cove Campground and we're going to have to check that out. There was no camping equipment in the car or in its immediate vicinity when the rangers observed the vehicle erica lloyd to the back window and windshield had been broken and the dashboard damaged the rangers noted the vehicle's presence in a report and left a note on the car that evening the car had been removed the next day tuesday june 16 2020 a california highway patrolman spotted the car on shelton road east of 29 palms the car was facing the highway the chp had it towed away at that point lloyd had not been reported missing so she spoke to her mother on monday on tuesday the car was seen leaving a campground but then on tuesday it was also found then on wednesday the family called her in missing. So in previous phone contact with her family and friends, Lloyd had indicated she was on a road trip. All phone contact with her ended on June 14th, 2020. Now I wonder if she actually spoke to them or if it was in text, even like her deleted Facebook page. How do you delete a Facebook page, but you're going to go camping alone for a couple days? Like, this is just not adding up across the board. On Wednesday, June 17, 2020, her family reported her missing, giving indication she might be in the area of Joshua Tree National Park. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department dispatched a helicopter to scour the area. That effort was not fruitful. The Morongo Basin Sheriff's Station was put on a special alert to be on the lookout for any sightings of her throughout the entirety of the more than 3,000 square mile desert area that includes Joshua Tree, Joshua Tree National Park, 29 Palms, Yucca Valley, and their outlying areas. Park rangers began searching areas within the park. Sheriff's deputies, including one with canines, searched areas at the entrance of the park as well as along Highway 62. The Joshua Tree and Rescue Team engaged in effort to find her or spot any signs that she was in the area. By June 19th, her parents caught a flight from Maryland to California in the hope they could be of assistance in the search. Erica Lloyd, one troubling aspect of the case is Lloyd has deleted her Facebook page prior to her disappearance. She was active on Instagram until June 15th, 2020. According to her sister-in-law, Lloyd was under a lot of stress and wanted to get away and unplug. She was employed at a beauty salon and had a young son. That part, her son. Who was watching her son 
when she took off for this lonely camp weekend with her parents living in Maryland, where is the boy? Does the father have custody of the kid? I mean, I want to look into that, but I do not want to, um, you know, disrespect their privacy right now while they're looking for their daughter. Lloyd is described as Caucasian, five feet seven, slender, with brown hair and blue eyes. And like I said before, she is definitely a beautiful girl. So I think that her drive for eight and a half hours down to the campground, she would have stopped and got gas. She may have stopped and got something to eat. Like there has to be video surveillance or a lot of us do not even cash anymore. We carry credit cards. I do think that the police know more than what they are letting out because the contradiction in these stories is a little bizarre in my opinion. The Highway Patrol's missing person division was initially assigned to the case and the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department is now the lead agency. Detective Alan Pennington is working the case which bears a reference number of pound zero nine two zero zero one zero one nine pennington can be contacted at a pennington at sbcsd.org or 760-366-4180 and i will drop all of that information down below in the description and i also received a comment from somebody who went to high school with her but I cannot find that comment now. If you could please reach out to me to my email at monkeygirlatlive.com. I would love to talk to you. Let's go over Erica Lloyd's timeline. It's almost like each time I read a new article, it's always like a little something's thrown in or... Okay. On Monday... June 15th, park rangers came across Lloyd's vandalized 2006 Black Honda Accord at Indian Cove Campground near Jumbo Rocks and Joshua Tree. So this is the map that I've mapped out. So this is where the car was seen, right here, at Indian Cove Campground. Let's check out a picture. Yeah, I'm not thinking this looks like somebody that's not experienced camping would even consider going alone. So then, so that's here at Indian Cove. That's where her car was spotted and from being vandalized and they left a note. On Tuesday, June 16th, California Highway Patrolman spotted the car on Shelton Road, east of 29 Palms, the car was facing the highway and the CHP had it towed. So, we've got her car on the 15th right here. And then we have her car towed from June 16th right here on Shelton Road and County Road 26. And it was facing the road. Wednesday, June 17th, the family reported her missing, giving indication she might be in the area of Joshua Tree Landing. On June 19th, her parents caught a flight from Maryland to California in the hope that they could be in assistance in the search. So Lloyd had deleted her Facebook page prior to her disappearance and she was active on Instagram until June 15th. Well, obviously, because June 15th is when the car was beaten up at Joshua's Landing, Indian Cove Campground. And like I said, I'm not sure which way you would come in here to go camping. I mean, it looks like you could come in off of Park Road or you could come in off of Utah Road. So here's Utah Road coming in. There's Jumbo Campsite. 
why it's that park was mentioned maybe because the entrances are built to these campsites I don't know and then we've got the landing the Indian Cove campground with the entrance from Joshua Tree Landing right off of 62nd and Park Ave and it looks like it's a big loop through Joshua Landings and then it looks like that one road off of Utah will come straight down into the rest of the park and then of course there's probably some entrance back over here I am not going to speculate or maybe you know I don't know I'm not going to speculate I'm just going off the facts that I know right now so who moved the car from the Indian Cove campground which is right here to Shelton and CA 26 which is right here I mean and I'm gonna say this one more time I do not think even leaving a car at the campground inside the park somebody's going to vandalize it but the question is how did the car get from the campground to Shelton Road in the previous video that I did, they do mention that the car was seen on surveillance camera. Let's touch on this last article from part two that I put out. So, her car was found abandoned days later on Highway 62 near Joshua Tree National Park, which we know is 62 and a Shelton. So, according to San Bernardino Sheriff's Department, the family reported Erica Ashley Lloyd missing on Wednesday, June 17th. But on Tuesday, California Highway Patrol found Lloyd's car abandoned near Highway 62, near 29 Palms. So, then we go into this part. When the vehicle was noticed inside of the campgrounds, so there was no camping equipment directly associated with or in the vicinity of it. So we can't confirm or deny that the individual camped or stayed in the park. So then let's just get down to the one part on this part. But the ranger said, the security footage shows the vehicle leaving the park Tuesday night. Hmm. I truly hope they find some answers or they know more than they're letting out. Because it's just, was she even there? Who took her there? And who moved the car? These are some pictures from... The campsites at Joshua Tree's Landing. I mean, it doesn't even seem safe that you would go to a place like this alone, having a child, and not be prepared with any camp gear. I mean, the odds, I mean, maybe somebody did come and take her from the campsite and vandalize the car. And maybe when they saw the cops put the ticket on, they decided to move it. But, you know, all of that is speculation. All right, guys, I think I am going to wrap it up. And with that, guys, this is all I've got. This is what I wanted to get out, and it is a wrap. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. A please like or dislike, whichever you prefer. And, of course, subscribe. Everyone stay safe wherever you are in the world. Stay vigilant and wear the masks. Let's stop the spread of COVID. And with that, guys, I am out.